Okay. Well, why is it? Okay. So, with the, what I use to EQ, it, it depends. So, like, let's just. So, this sound, if it's not, if the sound, I compress it first. This is just a simple compressor I use. You don't want... I, um, yeah, I don't like it to go past the four. I don't know things the scientific way. Um, but... Um, but yeah, so... And then you, you want to add an EQ, depending on the EQ. I use different EQs. There's the FL Studio EQ that I use. I use this one for basic stuff. <coughs> so like, if this was the beat, but it wasn't the main melody, I would use this one. I would take the lows out of it, more than likely. You guys are not going to be able to hear any of this quality at all, but... Yeah, and depending on how depending on how much it's is jumping out of the or how much it needs to jump out of the speaker or whatever, um, yeah, you you just EQ it accordingly. But I also do this other thing where I add a stereo effect on it. So it's called Fruity Stereo Enhancer. I sound so smart right now, don't I? Like I just know all this shit. People are like looking like, what the fuck? He's using all that shit. Yeah, fucking music brainiac but um there's not really anything crazy though <coughs> but yeah so this what this does this um fruity stereo enhancer because the it, it it originally goes in as mono um the sounds this puts it um it, it kind of puts us <coughs> slight um what is it 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 spreads them apart it spreads it into two sounds and it turns one up a little louder than the other you can depending on you can pick which side you want to be a little louder but it, it makes it it gives it more of a um surround sound that's that's pretty much what it is like a surround sound so i do the bass lines and some sounds i do okay um you can add a re you can add a reverb to it if that's needed. Feel me? But like, oh, but I didn't show you my other sorry my other EQ. I use the Isotope Alloy Two. So what I do is I go in here because this one it has a lot of power behind it. I don't know how, but it's strong. So this one this EQ will make your shit jump out really like if you want your like this really the other EQs. They're cool. This one has like real power. So when you EQ something with this, it jumps through the speakers and it hits harder. So I make sure I use this on the kicks, on the snares, on the, whatever the, the, the dominant sound is in the beat. If it's a piano, whatever it is, I make sure I add this one on there. <coughs> um, so I, and I and I put a, sometimes I put more than one EQ on depending on the, the, the sound. I want it, I'll put a few EQs on. Sometimes they're just a frequency that you want to be to be up. So you got you can narrow this one down and if you just if you want it to have a wider range, you can do that. Never raise it up to there unless the sound just has no low end to it whatsoever at all and it's low quality. But yeah, um typically <coughs> Yeah, you just raise it. Well, I mean, you do whatever you want. You got to know how to EQ, though. I can't explain that right now. And then you, um, what's the name of the EQ? It's called Isotope Alloy 2. And then sometimes I add a reverb to sounds if it needs it. I don't always. <laughs> Sometimes what I'll do <coughs> if I feel like the um 
if, if I feel like I just don't like the octave that it's in or I just you can just lower the, the tune of that sound. So. Just some bullshit I'm doing, just so I can. Now, here's another thing with with hi hats. Um, with this man's going in on the Nocturnal Rainbow song. Man, I looked five minutes ago and you were still talking about it. Okay, that song was made at a time. I don't give a fuck, man. Stop talking about it. I know I heard everything that you heard wrong with it before you even knew that it was wrong and before you even heard the goddamn song. Okay. I'm already a decade away from that, so just don't talk about that, or else I'm gonna talk about you being in elementary school, or you shit in your diapers, and you didn't know what the fuck you're doing. But it's just unnecessary. We move past that. It's, it's a whole new fucking time of life right now, okay? Leave Nocturnal Rainbows the fuck alone. All right, anyways, hi-hats. This is something I've learned um, <clears throat> from one of, this is what I've learned from one of my homies um, <coughs> named Miracle. He's a producer. He told me like the, the velocity of the, the hats, it gives it more of an authentic feel. And I never knew how to do this in the past. So, so this is the volume levels. So let's, let me show you this. I'm gonna show you some, this is something that's very important. So I'm just making up a hi-hat melody. I don't I don't even know what this is going to sound like. Hold on. Okay. It sounds decent whatever, but this it, it sounds very fake though. The hi-hats sound very not real. Cuz you got to change You got to change the velocity or the, the yeah. So you want to, so when 